Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to enable and play multiplayer in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So it's straightforward, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to settings and ensure that you have multiplayer enabled. So if you go to online, what we want to make sure is that multiplayer is ticked here. If it's not, then just tick it and make sure to press escape to save. Then here you can choose your servers, so base, this will be based off whatever region you're in. So we're in Western Europe, so it makes sense to use that server. Great, so now that that's ready, now all we have to do is set up our flight, and while we're setting up our flight, there's just a few options we need to, to select. So here we have it. Um, I think i just change the aircraft very quickly. We'll get one of these uh, Cessna, where is the Cessna hiding? Let's just look it up, 172. Choose our plane, and then what we want to do is go to save that and then we need to go to our actual flight so we need to select where we want to start flying from so let's start flying from London uh, usually we imagine that should be busy enough with people there so also so one other thing to make sure is actually in your settings now one thing to note is that you might want to enable this thing here so show multiplayer aircraft in close proximity because otherwise you might not see as many planes around if they're right beside you, say if you're on the same taxiway, etc. Great, then we go to free flight. We choose a departure runway, or we can type it in, I'm just going to choose it. So, if you go to London, past the cloud cover, uh, this is a bit, this cloud cover is making it a bit difficult. We're in Ger that's Germany. There we go, and it should be somewhere here, yeah, there we go, London, choose our airport, okay, I'm just going to type it in because it's a bit hard to see with all that cloud, so Heathrow, or we can type in LHR or EGGL, so I use the KO codes, then what we want to do is we need to go to our settings, Great, so then flight conditions, click on this, and then this is where we set up our multiplayer. So before you can play multiplayer, we need to actually set up our flight conditions. So to do that, we need to choose weather custom, because make sure, yeah, this is just one of the things you have to do. Air traffic has to be off, and then click on all players in multiplayer. So this is essentially what you need to have. Custom for weather and time, air traffic to off, and then select all players. Then S, save and back, and then start your flight. And now we should have a multiplayer. Once we load it. And that's just loading. It is kind of cool this new uh, kind of uh, m map function they have in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 where they have the actual cloud and weather coverage and you can zoom in quite in quite detail to the world. Although, to be honest, sometimes it's a bit annoying because you, you can't always see past it. So here we are, is our aircraft, and then... Heathrow Tower, Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X-ray Golf fly. Sierra, at runway 27, right ready for departure. Straight well, out departure. What we do is go to this, and let's look for our fellow players. See where our fellow players are hiding. Okay, and then that's it. We now have uh, we now are playing multiplayer. The thing is, you obviously need to choose somewhere that actually has people flying in, and somewhere where there's actually people online at the moment. So you can kind of play around with your servers to see if there's servers where there's more people in them. But that's essentially how you enable multiplayer in a nutshell. And if you actually go to the main menu, I think we can once we have that selected, I think we can actually. I think we can actually take a look at where this player is. So if you take a look here, if you see these green dots, these are all the multiplayer players. So you know, you can see here, there's people flying around, and you can do that pretty much wherever you are in the world. Now I'd imagine, to be honest, like, um, like it kind of depends on what server you choose. So say if you choose a server in Western Europe, uh, you wouldn't really imagine there'd be many people flying in South America. I'd say people generally tend to fly in the region that they're based in, but you know, that's just kind of a rough term. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and 
Now you can enjoy Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 in multiplayer. Bye for now.